The question on everyone's minds, Professor, what's the main impact this ban will have on the environment? I'm hoping that it's going to have an impact such that when I go out and take a walk in a week, I will see fewer plastic forks and plastic bags dangling in the wind, on the grass, on the street corners. I'm really hoping that this will make an impact. The ban is really aiming regulation of the food services industry and plastic manufacturers, but who has carried the burden in the past when it comes to single-use plastics? We carry the burden because we're the ones who are exposed to these plastics, all the plastic garbage. That's the plastic we see as litter. We pay for garbage handling. We pay for landfills. We pay dearly for them. And we have problems having enough land and space to take all our garbage. We pay in terms of health, in terms of our ecosystems, and in terms of human health. So we're the ones that are paying. In terms of where we are in Canada, how wasteful have we been? Canadians are sadly pathetic. We're terrible. <laughs> this is not an award that I wanted to win. I did not want to be noted um, as being the most wasteful country in the world. This is really a dubious distinction. Canadians produce the most waste per capita of all countries in the world. We're far behind commitments to reduce our waste production. This ban is long overdue. I'm so pleased that it is finally coming to fruition. And finally tonight, Professor, is there anything more that we can be doing to eliminate single-use plastics? What about all that plastic wrap? We're embarking on the holiday and gift giving season. Just think of all the plastic, the single use plastic that is going to end up in the garbage or the blue box. Now, you may think, oh, you know, I put plastic in the blue box, so it's all okay. I'm sorry, it's not okay. We have actually a very low rate of diversion. About 17% of, of plastic waste is recycled. The blue box is not the answer. It's because the plastic waste is complex, difficult to recycle, requires more energy than what you get back. It's not a solution. The solution is banning the production of so much single-use plastic. The industry has had much more time to prepare than for those of us paying mortgages with the Bank of Canada, constantly increasing the mortgage rate. We're not given time to adapt. The industry has been given time to adapt. A great comparison. Thank you for being with us tonight, Professor Diamond. Okay, thank you so much for having me. May we all produce less waste over the holiday season and moving forward.